the two best Jordan 1s this year. Do you think these are a cop? I think these are a cop. Might be my Jordan 1 of the year so far. What's up, family? Today we have an early review for the Jordan 1 UNC toes. Throwing these on feet. I'm going to talk about when they're actually releasing. The fact that there should be another early release. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what other sneakers you guys would like to see. Early heat on the way as we speak. First things first, they come in this UNC colored box. Black Nike hit on it. I did get my pair in a size 10 it's basically unc all around and that's pretty much it for the box i really do love the fact that they've been adding a little bit of flavor to the box of the jordan one for a while we were just getting black and red i did grab this pair from soul for real on instagram homie normally be having the early heat he had them in my size so i say you know what let me fuck around and grab them unc toes are honestly beautiful that tone of blue on these the materials are spectacular bro i'm not gonna lie to y'all leather on these is really good actually i wasn't expecting it to be this good at least where the blue is the leather's crazy y'all can see on the black it's more of a flat smooth leather around the collar you get that same tumbled leather you can see it right here every time i press it it kind of dips down and then it comes back those toe boxes are super tumbled they definitely did not sleep on the materials for these jordan ones from the colorway to the way that they feel on hand perfect summer sneaker and this is one that you do not want to sleep on we did recently see the shock drop which had around 100,000 pairs for men. This is what prices are currently going for. These are gonna dip down to like around two, 220. That's my estimate. So if you're planning to buy the sneaker, I would definitely say just wait for release day at this point, or at least try to get the exclusive access, whether it's JD Sports finish line, even on sneakers app, we might see an exclusive access as well. Just make sure you're on it so you can hit for retail. Low key, I was a little bittersweet on the fact that I didn't wait for the shock drop, but at the end of the day, I ended up taking an L on that. So I'm glad that I grabbed these early to do the review i'm actually going to compare them to the obsidians university blues in a second on these jordan ones we have a university blue outsole white midsole you have the white panel black around the toe box of the sneaker with that unc on the toe hence the unc toe same unc color wrapping around the collar and ankle of the sneaker all the way around then you have that black swoosh with that white mid panel as well tongue on these is black unc hit on the tongue there's also a black insole with the unc nike air this pair comes with black laces and there also is an extra pair of laces which does come in the box in the the unc color at this point we've seen a ton of different unc colorways from the og university blue to the off-white version suede university blues which are actually one of my favorites it has that chicago type color blocking i love these obsidian jordan ones which is basically the black toe but with navy and unc blue and now we have the unc toes which is probably a close second to the obsidians just simply because i love the simpleness of this right here i still feel like this is a beautiful shoe this is one that's definitely gonna sell out and it's gonna go for some type of money i'm not saying they're gonna go for what they would have gone for in the past this would have been a 300 sneaker easy they're gonna at least go for two to 240 once they come out if you're in the market for a pair of jordan ones this is the perfect one to get they should be kind of easy to pick up on release day there's gonna be a lot of pairs at least from what we're hearing if they do sell out you're not gonna get cracked this is a sneaker that you should be able to get at a decent price retail for these is gonna be 180 dollars, and the official release is gonna be july 22nd which is kind of around the corner at this point there's going to be a couple other ways that you guys can get these jd finish line sneakers exclusive access you just got to make sure that you're up and ready bro and if not worst case scenario july 22nd on the sneakers app i don't know if these are going to hit foot sites but if y'all would want me to make a follow-up video on the sneaker just go ahead and comment that down below as well as leaving a like so that i know this is a sneaker you guys are interested in this is a beautiful jordan one getting them in hand does them so much justice material wise these are probably like top five jordan ones in my collection i love the way that this leather is feeling bro i don't know if there's a lot of inconsistencies as far as materials go on other pairs i'm super glad i picked this pair up we're gonna go ahead and lace these up real quick i'm gonna do one with the black lace and one with the unc just so y'all could get both flavors personally i would leave it with the black lace because i like when the jordan ones match the tongue but that's just me at the end of the day i know a lot of people like switching the laces so for me personally these are the two best jordan ones this year these release in september and these drop in a couple weeks both of them are my top three jordan ones of the year is these palominos and then the bbc jordan one unions those are hard too they actually grew on me let's get into lacing these I 
I just laced these up and honestly, I kind of like the UNC blue. Normally, I go straight for the black because it's cleaner. For this pair, for some weird reason, I'm kind of gravitating towards the UNC blue. Let me know if I'm tripping. Brings that little bit of pop of color and it still blends because it has this in blue. Knowing myself, I might still end up leaving them in black just because of how clean it is. Let me know in the comments if you would go UNC or black for the laces. Personally, it could go either way. So I'm interested in seeing what you guys think in the comments. Having them laced up and everything low key made me like these more than the Palominos. Might be my Jordan one of the year so far. Now that we got these laced up though, I think it's only but right that we throw them on feet and show you guys what these are gonna be looking like. If you guys enjoyed this video so far, please leave a like on it down below and subscribe to the channel because there's way more early sneakers on the way. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all. Let's see what these looking like on feet. Bae just walked in from work, so I decided to ask which laces she likes better. Does she even like these at all? Crazy thing is, I like the black because it's so neutral and it's focusing on the blue color. This just makes the shoe pop. I'm so tired of this look. They make this color over and over with the same black lacing. I've never seen this blue lacing. Maybe it does come with blue laces that you just well, don't put, put it on. It looks OG with the black. I do like the blue lacing, and I love this has the navy. I messed up not getting these. Spots is so beautiful. Do you think these are a cop? I think these are a cop. I feel like if you have these, you don't need them. It's a completely different look. I feel like if you missed out on this shoe, then this is the shoe. Every time I see people with these shoes, it reminds me of people who used to wear like the school uniform and then throw on fresh pair like Jordan ones. Or like the fours the... and the fives. Yeah. They'll have like the khaki pants, the white polo, and then you throw, and then you throw like a pair of Jordan I wonder on. if people still do that in high school. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to add this little clip for y'all. Let me know if y'all copping these when they drop. All right. Bye, guys. Peace. So I just filmed the on foot and I realized that I forgot to do an outro for the video. So if y'all enjoyed this one, make sure y'all leave a like, subscribe, click this video right here because that's what YouTube is recommending you. I'm spending grip to get these sneakers early. So the least y'all could do is go down there, leave a like and subscribe. Also, if y'all are going to go for these for retail, best of luck. I hope y'all are able to get them for retail. Unlike me and I'm creasing them right now. Let me get my ass up. Shit, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.